Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video and I finally said it correct. Alright guys, so I'm bringing you my final Regulation E team that I'm going to be making myself because we're going to be moving on to Regulation F soon since we only have a couple of days left till, you know, those Pokemon come out and I'm going to need my resources to go for it because I'm running out of Teller Shards specifically fairy and dark and flying so i'm gonna have to farm those again hopefully maybe the indigo disc will have those more easily accessible but anyways this is kind of a throwback to one of my old teams that when i first started vgc uh playing vgc in regulation a and i was trying to make videos but then i kind of like stopped because of some health issues and all that stuff and then uh let's not worry about that but um anyways so this team it's kind of a throwback to that where I tried to make Tinkaton work as a carry and I couldn't figure out how and I was trying to make it work with Source Dance with Oranguro to, so I can do the Gigaton Hammer instruct combo, right? And since, you know, I've been getting better slowly and improving and my team building's been getting a little bit better and everything, I finally realized, hey, weakness policy, Bulldoze, uh, a little take take away from the belly bolt combo and use Tinkaton on it with weakness policy bulldoze make Tinkaton slower and now you can instruct and get weakness policies and Tinkaton hammers at plus two now the funny thing is that you can also um if you end up getting a source and since you have fake out pressure right so you can get fake out and then oranguru can trick room for practically for free because the cool thing is that oranguru since you don't have anything that's hitting you you don't need telepathy so you have inner focus instead which means now you cover fake out and taunt with mental herb so they can't stop it unless they ko it right and it's pretty hard to ko or in guru anyways and you could always terra dark to kind of like cover yourself and that's the really cool part is that um let's say you don't fake out and you can tr read and go for a source dance you can source dance turn one while trick rooming and then the next turn you instruct because Tinkaton is now slower than Oranguru. Oranguru will instruct Tinkaton to Source Dance and then you Gigaton Hammer. And now you have a plus four Gigaton Hammer going off instead, which is really cool. So there's a lot of kind of weird combination stuff, interactions going around with, with Tinkaton and Oranguru. So it's really cool. And uh, it, it just shows that how I went from doing this combo from not even thinking about bulldoze where it was just me trying to get source sense off and i used to have protect i didn't even have fake out and now i'm like fake out covers well source sense there's no protect which is which is unfortunate but at least now i can do you know do, do kind of funny stuff here and then we just have ursa luna armorugian ddd for coverage and then urshifu here with room service so that way when trick room is up it's slower and it can do its things and you can even instruct wicked blow as well so that's fun we have Aro Sphere on our armor rush but honestly i feel like i should have trick room instead just to kind of cover me so i can go for follow me Aros um trick room instead which would probably be better honestly i think that might actually be what i should do or to um fix this team but i'm not gonna fix it because i'm already it's already taken too long to make this team and i would have to go fight hatinas and i don't know where a good place to find hatinas for trick room so anyways that's pretty much the team hope you guys enjoy i'm happy to do this because tinkaton is my one of my favorite mons actually it's my favorite mon of paldea and then then it's armor rouge and then goldengo which is why goldengo is you know my picture for my youtube but yeah i'm really happy i i wanted to end it with tinkaton and let's see if tinkaton can get me some wins with this with this combo all right let's go right ahead and find some matches all right and already we're fighting another in dd as well and that means i can't do my combo so that's fun uh damn always with the matchmaking giving me the roughest things up but i think i'm just gonna go with these two then and i think what i'll do is go full moon in the back and possibly Uranguru. I want to do Tinkaton, but I can't do Tinkaton against Indidi. It's just impossible. I won't be able to fake out. I won't be able to source dance. I don't have any ways to hit the Armor Rouge. This is a really bad matchup for this. So I think we can probably go with these four. I think these four is fine. This should pretty much cover everything. And worst comes to worst, 
I don't have to worry about the... Um, the Iron Hands is the only problem here for my Urshifu lead, but I think this should be fine. I just want to make sure I get the Trick Room up. Although, I maybe I don't even want the Trick Room up, actually, looking at their team. Because they are a Trick Room team as well. But... <coughs> it depends who's slower. And I'm not going to know that because IVs is a thing. And my IVs aren't like min. I'm like at 9 IVs for my Ursa Luna. I'm max speed on my Urshifu, for example. So yeah. Hmm. Alright. So I want a Terra here. So I can actually just murder something right off the bat. I wonder if he has to like play rough and that's why he he led this. Cause I could just go for this and helping hand. How worried am I of of you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the uh I'm gonna go for this and just helping hand. I think this is fine to do. I'm max speed adamant, but um, I should survive whatever these two do. Maybe. I'm not sure. He actually stayed in and didn't care. Okay. Oh, I wasn't going for you, buddy. Don't worry. You endured at the wrong time. You tried to bait me, but I felt like I didn't need to deal with you because I'm I'm on I'm a dark shifu. Sensei is going in. I'm going to make sure this thing goes down. All right. I'm going straight for it. I was actually faster too. That's the funny part. I'm max speed. I'm max speed adamant. So that means it's a, it it was a very bulky one. But now he has he endured, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just. Helping hand again. I don't see an issue. Why not? He endured, so he probably has to follow me and Terra. So yeah, <coughs> I'm just going for the helping hands here. He's probably following me. Yep, he's fairy as well. Okay. I should be fine though. This won't KO, but it should at least put it pretty low. Yep, there's a follow me. Did not do as much as I was hoping. It's Rocky Helmet too. Oh, it does have Aurosphere. Okay. <laughs> of course it does. I thought I was the only one who carried it, but apparently not. They usually don't carry it. I'm obviously... I'm obviously going to run into that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go into my... Urshi um, Ursa Luna now. I'm going to protect here. I'm just going to start... I'm going to put up Trick Room. <coughs> just in case for he goes for the Endure again. He is going for the expanding force though. Do I live that? That's unfortunate that they had our Aur Aurosphere. I should have followed me, I guess. Yeah, that's not gonna KO me. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do here. So I can go for the Hyper Voice, obviously, and probably just for the Helping Hand. A max attack, but I don't know how well this is going to go. Because <coughs> I need to get rid of their, their Armor Rouge. 
I wonder if that means they're max speed on their armor rouge. Because they're weak armor for sure. They have to be if they're running in there. They absolutely have to be. Yeah, I knew it. That's why I, I just went for the hyper voice. It's not enough to KO, which is fine. I don't think expanding for KOs me. My, my bear now. This is where I wish I was still Assault Vested on my bear. Because I, I used to be Assault Vested, but I was like, nah. Doesn't KO, so we're good. Because we they, they have no priorities. They can endure, though. That's the only thing we have to worry about. Hmm. I mean, am I worried, though? Kinda. Actually, I'm very worried. No, 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 wait. No, I'm definitely worried. If they have Earthquake, I'm kind of lose. Hmm. Um, we're we almost we're about to be out of um thing in the bob. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so they did do that. But did they endure then? What was the point of that? Because I don't have expanding force. They don't have priority, not that I know of. Hmm. I think I know what I have to do. To win this. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I know what I have to do to win this. So I just have to Blood Moon this side. I hope he doesn't get the double protect. And Helping Hand. That's what I have to do to win because I Blood Moon. If he put double protects, then he wins. But I Blood Moon the Ursa Luna. It goes down. Oh, wait, we're slower. I mean, he's slower. Oh, never mind. That means he's min speed. <laughs> He's zero IVs, probably. I actually don't know my speed tiers. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, then I lost. That's really bad. <coughs> I never win this now. I thought I was slower. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was slower. I should have went for the... um. For to follow me then. That would have been fine. So I'm thinking here. <coughs> oh, and he gets the boost. Okay, yeah, I lost. He does have Earthquake. The facade was weird then. The facade was weird. Okay, this is it. <coughs> Sorry, he's not helping. It's 52. I actually don't know my... I, I didn't even think about that, though. That Ursaluna was gonna... The, the, the normal Ursaluna was slower. I thought I always thought the, the new one was slower. What about the other Ursaluna? How, how slow is it? Are they just the same speed? No, we are slower. He's just min speed. That might be a gent Ursaluna, then. You know, and honestly, that might be. I don't think this KOs. That has to be a gen one because it's shiny too. Yeah, we lost. Okay. Our sphere wasn't enough. 
That's a gender, Saluna, because it's a shiny one. There's no way this guy didn't. There's no way this guy didn't gen that thing. It's a hundred percent gen. Because normal Saluna actually has fifty-two base speed. Wait, no, hold up. Let me let me let me make sure. It's fifty-two speed. I can't tell. Okay, uh, Cerebi's not helpful here. Oh, it is fifty-two speed. They're both fifty-two, so. He's just min speed. Yeah, he's min speed because he genned it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the genning, the genning got me. Oh well, lost to someone who's genned. <laughs> Who cares? GG. Oh well, we didn't even get to do the combo, so I'm not even too worried about that. Let's go right next to the next battle. Oh boy, there's the there's a there's a mushroom. I'm running into these. Amoongus and stuff now, huh? How do I deal with that? Because I don't want to be put to sleep, obviously. Which is what's going to happen. Oh, Amoongus is such a, a rough mon to deal with because it, it just sits there and presses the sleep button. And I don't want that. I wonder if it's just this. Oh, man, I don't get to do the combo in this one either. I need to bring Urshifu. Yeah, how do I deal with this? I can't do the Urn Guru combo with them there. Amoongus is 100% coming out. Oh, I can't do the Tinkatung or Guru stuff. The matchmaking is being mean and giving me like the worst matchups for this team. <laughs> it's mainly Amoongus. Amoongus is really the only problem there. I can deal with the Goldango, everything else. It's just Amoongus. Amoongus is the only thing that shuts down the combo. Because I can't Trick Room if it puts me to sleep. Okay, so it's water, Shifu. Alrighty. This is no bueno for me. I feel like just deleting this and following. Because I can't, I can't trick him right now. I need to follow me and save myself here. Although if I if I don't get Trick Room up, I can't do anything, right? I don't think I could survive a, a... I could probably survive the Surging, but then if they go for attack with the Gold Dango, I kind of go down anyways. I feel like they want to protect the Gold Dango because I could just Earth Power that slot. Right? Yeah, they're just gonna surging strike. <coughs> Means I'm not gonna be able to get Trick Room up this turn. Maybe I should have brought Oranguru over Armorush. Oh, they are just gonna go for the Make It Rain. Okay. That's choice specs, 100%. That is 100% choice specs. Surely we KO this, right? Yep. Alright, Blood Moon does take it out, which is good. Hopefully we can use Tinkatan or Anguru eventually. <laughs> it's just a bad matchup with the... Um... I need to bring Urshifu out. <coughs> There's the hands, but the hands can't do anything here. At least nothing too bad. The only problem is it can, however, blow me up, but... Maybe I just Hyper Voice here and Wicked Blow. He can't fake out, so at least that's a good thing. 
Yeah, that's why I went for this slot. But he might be faster with the hands. So I probably won't even get the hyper voice off. Oh, there's that thing. There's my nemesis. Oh yeah, he's, he's much faster. Okay. But that's okay, because now he's pinned. And he's going to have to um, do something about it. So I'm going to expanding force here. And I'm just going to wicked blow this slot. In case he terrors that slot, I can at least um because I think he should be it should be an expanding rate um force range even if it terrors. Like it should get KO'd by that. But we should be fine. And if he switches into Gold Dangle, then he just loses Gold Dangle. <coughs> That's the idea here. This is why I didn't bring the Tinkatana or Guru though, because I needed this. Yeah, let's see who ter he terrors. Yeah, perfect. Called it correctly. Because the expanding force should put it into range of the uh, Wicked Blow. He, he kind of pinned himself here. I would think so. Yep, there we go. Double KO. And we have Armor Cannon too. So Make It Rain shouldn't be able to KO us here. I have Armor Cannon for the uh, Goldengo. But yeah, the, the, the Moongus alone kind of scares away the combo. So I kind of have to play around it. And that's kind of why I have Urshifu as well. To kind of really just be aggressive with my plays. But I'm surprised he went for the... Um, I'm honestly surprised he went for the Ursaluna where... Urshifu was applying more pressure, especially when, with what he brought. I don't think he needed to do what he did. He should have gone for the Urshifu. I'm pretty sure Drain Punch probably KOs me too. Especially after the Rocky Helmet damage. So, I mean, I'm gonna take it. He wants to. He wanted to like bring the Amoongus. That's this is what you get. I'm going. To, I'm not, that's why Among, uh, Armor Rouge is in there. All right, GG. All right, I think I could pull off the combo here. I really think I could pull the combo here, so I'm gonna go for it. They do have Heat Ran, which could be problematic. But I think we'll be fine. I'll bring I'll bring Indeedee in the back, I think. Is it just or is it I'm wondering if it's Urshifu or 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 Ursaluna here. I don't think it's Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge works fine too, but there's a heat ran. And once I lose if I lose my my dude, I kinda just if I lose Iris here, I kinda just lose the game. So Full Moon Ursa Luna will be okay here, I think. Yeah, we'll do we'll do we'll do Ursa Luna. <laughs> but I think I can get away with the combo in this one. Unless they go with the um Origaref, but I think that's fine. Unless they go for the imprison. Ah, that could be a thing, right? That's probably a thing. Or they go with this. How did they know I was gonna do this? I don't know. They just did. Um I just knew I was going to go for it, I guess. Do I live? I don't know if I live that. I absolutely don't know if I live a... Um, a thing. Alright, I'm going to just trick him because I have no idea if I live this. Did they go into Farrigger F? Oh, they did. I don't see the point in that. If I went for a play rough, that was super risk. If I went for a play rough, he would have lost his Urshifu right there and then. 
And I was thinking about it too. I was like, maybe I should just click play rough, but and terra terra fairy. Because I have I have Indy in the back anyways. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that would have KO'd then. All right, now I'm just gonna. He he's probably expecting a play rough on that slot, so I'm just gonna go for a a bulldoze and a gigaton hammer. Okay, he's gonna Terra. Are they into poison? Show me the poison. Oh, why? How do they know what I'm doing? What? There's no way, dude. There's no way they're predicting me. Like, how are they letting Urshifu just stay there? I could have just played rough and KO'd it. Oh, this makes no sense to me. Is this like a known combo? Like, did someone already do this combo? I'm so confused. I'm actually super confused right now. Like they have to know the combo. And they just had the perfect tarot for this too. What? I'm so upset. Like I'm I'm super upset with matchmaking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know I say it all the time, but I'm actually upset with with matchmaking. They gave me the one guy who doesn't care about their Urshifu and just has Terra Fire. On, on this thing. That's absolutely ridiculous. That this guy just happens to be the perfect counter to me. Because I was fine with the Ferrigera. And they're usually either Dark or Steel. I mean, Dark or Fairy. And this guy just didn't care about his Urshifu. Now he cares about his Urshifu. Absolutely ridiculous. Don't tell me he has Terra Blast Fire too. I'm, I'm, I'm about to lose it if he has Terra Blast Fire too. Alright, now I'm just gonna kick it on hammer this slot and just go for a. I'm going. I'm going for that. I'm, you know what? No, I'm switching. I'm switching. There's a Luna. Cause I'm tired of this. I'm switching into into um Ursaluna. I've had enough. And he has Rillaboom. Yeah, he, he literally had the perfect team to counter my team. It's actually ridiculous how matchmaking works. For Ridgeref with Fire Terra, this guy just not caring that I could just play rough, play her, play rough, play rough his. Um, why did he sucker punch? I'm so confused why he sucker punched there. Well, Tinkerton took it out finally, but I'm 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 super confused right now. All right, I'm gonna switch into my. There's a problem. Is if I switch into Indidi, I just go down anyways. He could Grassy Glide. Am I scared of Grassy Glide though? Because I could just um do this and Hyper Voice. I don't think Grassy Glide kills me anyways. And I'm slower now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, that's fine. I went for the um. For the hyper voice. There's no way for Ridger li lives this anyways. I'm, I'm not letting him uh, play me around. He's going to counter my team. Because matchmaking thought that it would be funny to do this. I want to show you why my Tinkerton doesn't, doesn't, doesn't care about this stuff. <coughs> you should have dealt with Tinkerton earlier. 
Because I'm about to destroy you for what you, you've done to me. For the disrespect you gave me. I'm going to destroy you for it. Wait, I thought I used to play rough. Oh, right. That's so dumb. That's the only thing that I don't like is that it does it does that. Alright, I'm just going to hyper voice, I guess. Actually... I think it does, has done its job, right? So what I could do... Wait. No, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna hyper voice. No, I can protect here. So I don't get hit by grassy glide here. Yep. And I can play rough the Rillaboom. Take it out, and then I'll have a Blood Moon or Saluna. Oh, he would have lost if I just went for Blood Moon. Wow. <coughs> That's pretty insane. I mean, he still loses. And I'm, I'm so happy because that was the weirdest... Like, I'm actually tilted this time. Because the matchmaking really said, Here, have a dude with an Urshifu that doesn't seem to care that the play rough could easily delete him. He doesn't have Sash to be to be not fearing the play rough. And <coughs> just has a fire trick room Origiraf. Yeah, okay. That's cool. <coughs> so I'm just gonna helping hand and Blood Moon. If he has protect, so be it. He can't win, I can just trick him again. <coughs> like I have trick I can just trick him again. That that's fine. You, you literally need a creep to, to win now. I can just protect Trick Room. That doesn't matter. I can just protect Trick Room. Now I just Trick Room. I protect. And even if you protect the hype, the, the Blood Moon, I can just Hyper Voice. I don't think you can KO me. I don't think Kindidi goes down here. Yeah, it doesn't go down. Doesn't matter. Now we're back. We're back here. We're back where we were. What are you gonna do? So I'm just gonna follow me. And I'm just gonna hyper voice. <coughs> I knew you were gonna protect. That's why I went for the hyper voice. Now I'm gonna blood moon you next turn. Now what? Huh? You think you had me? Nah, dude. I had you. I was tired of it. I I have I turned on my ultra instinct. You may have you may have had like the perfect counter team for me, but I still I still did it. I did the Tinkaton thing. Now I'm gonna blood moon you into oblivion. The disrespect that that match breaking did to me. Unless he gets the double protect, then I'm gonna be upset. He doesn't go for ages. Let's have it. Yeah, follow me. Help uh, Hyper Voice was safe because he he didn't he doesn't seem to have sense here. So I was just like, yeah, I could just um, follow me. Hyper Voice, if he protects whatever. If he doesn't, then he dies to another Hyper Voice. So it's all good. All right, GG. All righty, let's see what we can do here. Now armor was just not coming out. That's for sure. <coughs> I think I'm just gonna do them. I'm doing the combo. The combo works okay here. I mean, there there is. There is an Empoleon. There is two Steel types, right? But I feel like I can still get away with it. Yeah, I don't see why not. And then I just bring Urshifu. And... Yeah, these four. These four should be fine. I'm not going to bring the Indidi or the uh, thing. There is a Rillaboom anyways, so I don't want to do a Terrain War again. But, yeah, that was, <laughs> that's just funny as, I just find that so funny how matchmaking can be like that, where they put the one guy with a, with a Farigera with a Fire Terra. Unless I'm missing something and they're now Fire Terra, then forgive me for that, but most of the ones I've always seen is Fire or Dark. I mean, Fairy or Dark. If he didn't have Fire, he definitely wouldn't have played the way that he did. 
he would have definitely because because that's why I was I was playing the way I did because I was expecting fairy or dark right so gigaton hammer just takes it out and he has to detect with his urshifu otherwise he goes down to the play rough there's no way he lives to play rough unless he has terra poison so you know I thought my 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 idea was fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just fake out Trick Room. <coughs> just get this going. And probably I'm just going to switch into... What's his face? Honestly. Maybe I just switch straight into my Ursaluna. I wonder if this is a grass or a thingamabob. Okay, so he's switching out. Okay, very interesting. I didn't think he'd switch out like that, to be honest. But I guess it's because he knows I'm, I'm going to bring out the uh, thing. Uh, I see why. Uh, and it has light screen too. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> I'm kind of in a pickle here now, though. Um, I wonder if we just I kind of want to just fairy terra instruct him. Well, I can't instruct actually. Thinking about it. I think I'm just going to switch out into Urshifu here. <coughs> I'm Terra Fairy. My... My little guy. My little girl. Sting Lu is pretty slow, it's like base something. You rank comes out. Okay. Sadly I won't be able to get my weakness policy out, but this is really all I can do. If I needed to switch out, I would have just source dance. But in in that situation it's like I guess he just knows that I'm gonna fake out, but fake out was the safer play. Well that's an interesting move, that's for sure. Why? <coughs> Why? Is a good question. Good damage. I'm thinking I'm just gonna Gigaton Hammer this slot and just go for a... Actually, you know what? Maybe I could get away with like... You can taunt hammer and close combat on the slot. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna switch that thing Lu out. <coughs> so I'm just thinking like what's what's stopping me from just close combat? I should be faster than this heat right now. As a room service. I might be slower. I mean I mean I, I might still be faster actually. Because I'm max speed on this Urshifu. And I don't really know how this thing works, but we'll see. Oh, it's grass, okay. Really, really thought it was going to be fairy. <coughs> I could have just wicked blow it. Oh well. Good damage. Alright, Gigaton. Yeah, that's going to... Come on, dude. Did he really need... Did he really need that? He's got in two crits, by the way. He got a Snarl crit and that. And he doesn't miss the, the the two moves that are inaccurate. Crazy. Crazy to me. Alright, we're going to Urangura here. But I think this might not work out for me.
Because I already used Gigaton Hammer, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to play rough. Into the Rillaboom, and I'm just going to go ahead and instruct. I feel like I, I lose to a, yeah, I lose to a Grassy Glide plus Stomping. Yeah. That's unfortunate, dude. Three critical hits. Count them. Three critical. I mean, I, that one didn't matter, but it's, it's still the fact that he's getting so many crits is insane. Because I think we would have been fine otherwise. He would have still had to deal with... um. You would have to deal with the with the Urshifu still. And I would still have a Tinkaton. So that definitely mattered a lot. Hmm. How do I deal with this? I think my only play here is to go for this and remove Trick Room. He still has a full Regilek in the back too. That's the thing. He still has a full Regilek in the back. And he has light screen up too. That's just unfortunate. We would have been fine. Like, why is he snarling? What does that accomplish on, on this? I mean, I don't mind it, but it's still weird. All right. Well, if he's gonna oh oh he's snarling because of this right. But now we should KO it before I get the snarl off. Oh, here's the problem: is I can't I can't do that, huh? Oh, that's true. I can't do it. Never mind. I lost. I'm, I'm, I'm technically faster than, than it now, right? So I kind of had to go for like a hyper voice. Oh man. Oh well. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I just get wood hammered. I was trying to be sneaky, but then I realized, nah, that's not going to work. That crit really, really mattered so bad though. I don't think we lose our Urshifu there to the heat wave. Oh well, what is what what can you do with Pokemon, right? A crit's a crit and it can lose you a battle. Cause I would still have Urshifu. Tinkerton would be alive still. And he could only choose one to KO. Which allows me to um, KO him with Urshifu most likely. Because I don't think he lets Urshifu go through. Oh well. Alright, final match. Let's see how we can do it with this. Oh, isn't this that one team? I know what team this is. I just remember from who. But I know it's a team that's been running around. Huh. I'm pretty sure that... that at least I know that Arcanine is Sash. I believe. Mm, how am I going to go with this? The combo is kind of hard to do with this specifically because there's a Rillaboom again. There's an Arcanine, an Urshifu. I'm still going to do it. I don't expect to win, but I'm going to do it. Is it just, is it Ndidi or is it FOMO? Because if I bring Ndidi in and then he brings Rillaboom, then I'm just sad. I'm sad either way, right? We'll go with these four. There's nothing slow on their team at least. But yeah, this is the the thing, Lou, man. That does counter this team too, as well, right? But you don't really see them, like at all. 
There's uh, Tingnu's cool. Tingnu's a cool Pokemon though. We might see it a lot once um once Regulation E comes out. There's gonna be so many so many things that the Tingnu could probably deal with, especially the. Uh, I feel like it, it could deal with Incineroar pretty well. Okay, so it is just gonna be this. <laughs> Perfectly fine with this. Because I could just fake out. And I'll just uh, Trick Room. <coughs> I don't think a, a plus two player rough takes out a Urshifu, sadly, though. <coughs> I would have to Terra Fairy, I think. Oh, he did. Oh man, why do they do this, man? I could have just Swords Dance. But it's scary because if I let him Surging Strike, I go down to that. Yeah, he's going to Terra Water. He is going to Terra Water. I don't know if a Play Rough KOs this thing, actually. But I'm going to try. Oh, I can't even do that, actually. I just thought about that. No, well, that's okay, though. That's okay. I can just um, play rough. And if I go down, I go down. I just hope he's not... I mean, I'm hoping he's Water Terra. <coughs> you know, honestly, I think I should have went for the uh, Tornadoes here. And delete it. And just have Ursaluna take out the... Yeah, I could have just done that. In hindsight, yeah, that, that's actually a better idea. Although this does make him slower than my... Does make him slower, so maybe this is not the best idea, but... That's the only downside to doing the Bulldoze thing, because you make him slower, but I think I'll be fine. Alright, get him! Get him! No, it's not enough. I had a feeling it wasn't enough. That's okay. Urshifu's just too bulky on the defense side. And with base 75 attack, I'm not gonna KO an Urshifu. Terra does make it so I can't do that. I wonder if without Terra, if this, this combo works better. Maybe in Gen 10, I'll try it again. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into my Ursaluna here. And I'm just gonna go for the um, the instruct. So I'm just gonna uh, Terra here and just go for the instruct. Worst thing you could do is like switch or something, but <coughs> I think that's fine. It's my turn to Terra. It's my turn to hit the normal button. It's my turn to hit the Terra button, guys. It's mi turno, por favor. <laughs> this should KO. Uh, I don't. I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit. I still have Trick Room turns, so it's fine. I got the third throw spray out. <laughs> Let me just go for another Hyper Voice. I really do need to get rid of the Urshifu though. Because then... Um, my my Urshifu should clean house in the back. But Tinkatan got to do something. And, and it did something in the last battle too. So I'm pretty happy with that. It did a lot actually. It, 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 it pretty much spooked them pretty hard. Okay, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's really bad, actually. Oh, man. I forgot about this, actually. I can't stop the priority. This is where I wish I had Indidi in the back. Because <laughs> I can't protect in front of this Urshifu, because Crane Freak thought that ha giving it a, a move that can protect was a good idea. I think I'm pinned here. Yeah, I think I'm pinned here. Because Urshifu's not going to be able to survive that either.
Wait, what? Wait, what did I- what? I let the timer run, run out by accident because I didn't know what to do here. All the guy had to do was one thing and he and he didn't do it. I mean, I'm taking it. That's that's on him. He threw. He threw it. I mean, if 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 I I could have just gone for the hyper voice instructor and he would have lost both mons. He got really greedy for no reason. The guy threw. That's all I have to say. I'm just gonna hyper voice here and I'm just gonna wicked blow the uh this guy over here. <laughs> Classic light doesn't KO because I am not grass anymore. I mean I am not ground type. And he can't protect because the my Urshifu is here. Doesn't feel so good, does it? When you're 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 pinned down by un being unable to protect. That's why Urshifu is a dumb Pokemon, right? <laughs> You wanted to bring your Shifu? I brought mines. But yeah, he threw. I I don't think I should have won that. He definitely threw that one. Because all he had to do was fake out Surging Strikes. He got really greedy for no reason. Alright, GG. Alright, here's another one. And I am not happy with what I'm about to what I am witnessing here. <laughs> I am not happy with what I'm witnessing here. It's your boy. Oh man, this ain't bueno. This ain't it, Chief. I'm going to go dead last. Absolutely going dead last. What do I do here? Let's see. Let's find out. This is like the worst team I could have possibly gone up against. Damn. Came out here giving me the worst kind of teams, huh? I'm just trying to have fun. No fun allowed. Yeah, the, the chi Yu flutter main combo. I haven't seen that at all. I usually don't see that. In a while. Been a while. Yep, there it is. There's the combo. How did I know that was the combo coming? That's expected. Alright, I'm just gonna hyper voice and uh... Follow me. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just going straight for it. I want these things gone. <coughs> no thoughts, just head empty. He might snarl me, but at this point, does it really matter? There's the moon blast, which was probably going into the uh, thingy. Yep, that's fine. That was expected. I don't think this is gonna KO, but... It's at least respectable damage. Do I go into Oranguru and just pray? I'm going into Ranguru to try in Trick Room. Or I could do this. And protect.
Because the reason I didn't go into Tinkerton is because they they'll know that I'm going for it. Yeah, they're going straight for it too. I had a feeling they they just don't want Trick Room to go up, so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen. Sorry, I'm taking these two out. I don't think they were worried about Ursa Luna because if Ursa Luna isn't the fastest thing on the field, then it's not the biggest biggest issue for what he has in the back, most likely. So I felt like that was probably the 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 best the best plan. I don't think Ticketon might not even get to do anything. Depends. Depends on who who's his last two months. It's these two. How how upset am I though? Because I could just like hyper voice into a. Because I'm thinking they might want to go for. Do I protect? Oh, man, it's, it's such a tough call because if I protect... If I protect now... If I protect and they, and they just take out my dude... I'm not going to be very happy, am I? I'm just going to Blood Moon. No, you know what? Forget Blood Moon. I'm going to Hyper Voice. I'm going to Trick Room. I felt like they would they would target that slot. And they, the outrage actually went into that slot. Crazy. But he helped me out, which is the funny part. And now he's stuck on outrage. <coughs> he actually helped me out. I wonder what's that? That looked like um that definitely looked like. That a hundred percent looked like. Um, what you call it? Hold up. That a hundred percent looked like it was. Um, multi scale. Yeah, we survive. We survive with Sacred Sword. I a hundred percent know that. Yeah, that looked like multi scale damage. That's what I was like, wait a minute. Tinkerton just pulled it through. That Ice Spinner actually messed him up. <laughs> Hold on. He messed up. He messed up with the Ice Spinner. The Fool. Because I wouldn't have been able to fake out otherwise. That is actually hilarious. And I think I actually won that anyways because I think, I think he's choice banded into Outrage. So that means all I had to do was take out the Chen Pao. With Tinkerton and Tinkerton just wins auto wins with the Dragon <laughs> Well, GG. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna keep it short because of my cough. It just won't go away. It actually got worse. But anyways, guys, that's the team. We didn't get to use Tinkerton in every single battle, but when it did, we did get to actually kind of showcase the the whole strategy. And Tinkerton did get to do put in some work, so I'm pretty happy with it. I honest I. Obviously, I didn't expect it to super perform well or get the combo off every single time, but Tinkerton is one of my favorite mons, and I just wanted to give it a one final showcase before we go into regula Regulation E. As at least to try and carry. I feel like I'm still going to use Tinkerton in my teams, but more of a, 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 of a support role. I'm going to try and figure out a, a nice support Tinkerton that could work because I think Tinkerton does have potential. And honestly, I just really like using Tikaton. It's one of my favorite mons, as much as I love Armor Rouge Indity, right? But Ursula put in a lot of work. The Urshifu did also put in a lot of work. Urungur was really fun to use again. And the inner focus meant to her was really cool. But yeah, there was just some funny, funny, funny moments in this in this video with the um with the Farid giraffe and all that stuff. It was it was it was pretty crazy. But yeah, the the team, you know. It went well. I think I think the team did well. We got like maybe a 50% win rate, I think, in the end there, which is completely fine. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. The comments help a lot. It helps me get into the algorithm. Um, the team, team ID is up there. I'll put be posting the um, rental and the base in the description below as well. 
and yeah that's oh yeah just join my discord we're gonna I, I might start streaming soon and i would like it if um, you guys you know join my discord and you know build a little community with me but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video peace